Hey, what's up? This is Crass. I wanted to show you the secret on how to make sure your beats and your sounds don't beef. A lot of the producers I work with, one of the main things I hear is muddy beats. <clears throat> it's like my throat. It's not clear right now. I have to... <clears throat> have to clear it and the main way to do that in music is to make sure your sounds aren't beefing for the same space now you might ask how do i do that well in music there's harmonies and there's frequencies and when you put like a string or a bass on they occupy a certain frequency i'm looking at this as if this is but the mic's right there anyway you make sure they don't occupy the same frequency if they do you're gonna hear mud they're gonna clash they're gonna be punching up trying to fight for the right to stay alive what you have to do then is you have to this is the quick tip the quick secret you have to get out in fl studio or any doll out there your parametric eq and then there's numbers on those parametric eqs <clears throat> and then if you use the right one you'll be able to see where the collision is occurring and you'll be able to do a few things so we'll go over them right now the things that you can do okay let me open up a beat that i had uh specifically for this this one's called hb too, because I'm in Huntington Beach today. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do it is gonna solo these two, or this one first so you can hear it. And then if you notice, there's a parametric EQ for this sound. <clears throat> and I've already scooped it out, so I'm gonna bring it back up just to show you. So if you're using an EQ that shows you a visual of where the song, of where the sound is hitting, then that's going to put you in the right position. And then the next thing we're gonna do is pull up the other sound and the parametric EQ for the other sound as well. And uh, that's right here. So again, I'm gonna solo the two. That's this sound right here. And then I'm gonna solo this other one. So if you if you notice, this sound right here is occupying the 200 um, frequency range. You see this, or 500 actually, I'm sorry. You see this 500 right here? It's And it's kind of like the mid range, you know, low, mid, bass, mid. So then you, look at your other sound you turn your other sound back on and you hear how both together you can't really hear this one this one is kind of fighting it and is winning so if you notice this other sound right here only wants this space in here so what we can do is we can drag this section down Do you hear it now? Hear it better? It kind of parted itself and made way. But you can still hear it. That's the sound we split and made room for. And we made room for this sound. Which is right here. It's occupying this mid range. And again taking it out so now you can hear the difference and I'm about to put it back in so now you got two sounds that get along this one wants this space you give it to him and the other one you say here you make the way you part like the Red Sea now of course I can get more specific and I can tweak more from here but this is just the basic idea there's also other things that I can do, like move the sound an octave up or an octave down to give it even more space. But I just wanted to start you off with like a basic understanding of how to make sure your sounds don't beef. So here I'm gonna unsolo everything so you can hear the whole thing knock.
anyway hope that helps i'm gonna cut it right here hope all is well let me know if you have any questions email me it's your boy crash subscribe like do all that stuff man this is fun i love this youtube stuff i love y'all man shout out to all the producers out there putting it out putting it down putting it out how in the hell do i stop this thing there